Welcome to Let's Talk Meshings. This is how I glyph a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate very specific tasks in pointwise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're taking a look at airfoilgenerator.glyph, a script that was written to quickly generate NACA 4 series airfoils within pointwise. You can access this script by visiting our GitHub page at github.com forward slash pointwise forward slash airfoil generator. And once here, you can download the contents of this repository by clicking the download zip button over here on the right. And that'll download the entire script as well as the readme file, etc. So as you can see, this script actually has a user interface associated with it, which make it really easy to interact with and generate the geometries that you're looking for. So why don't we go ahead and actually pull up the script. So here's the glyph script. As you can see, the, the top part, basically what I wanna point out here is there, there are no inputs that the, the user is going to enter within this script. Again, because there's a user interface associated with it. So what I did wanna point out was at the top of this script, this is where the user interface is actually created. This, these are the, the TK commands to, to kind of build the window and the widgets um, that are going to be displayed when we execute this script within pointwise. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. I'm gonna go ahead and execute this script within pointwise. Okay, so we're within pointwise. To execute this script, we're gonna to go to script, execute, we'll pick airfoil generator.glyph, we'll go ahead and open that, and the window opens. This is the, the TK window that contains the interface elements that we've chosen in the script, we've written in the script itself, and it's asking me, it's prompting me to uh, define the NACA 4 Series airfoil that I would like to create. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna create a symmetric NACA 0012 airfoil. You can also pick what the trailing edge looks like, either, are either sharp or blunt. In this case, we'll do sharp for right now, and then go ahead and click the Create button and it'll go ahead and create the airfoil geometry within pointwise. So this is really nice because, you know, it's it's not too difficult to go online and find airfoil coordinates and, and load them into pointwise, but you do have to kind of translate those coordinates sometimes into our segment file format before you import them into pointwise if they aren't in that format already. And so this makes it really easy to quickly create, define and create a NACA 4 series airfoil. And you can see that it creates the database curves directly within pointwise. I'm gonna go ahead and re-execute this script and I'll show you that we can also do um, Cambridge airfoils. You can see we can create airfoils like this. Again, just NACA 4 series. And then we can also do, I'll do the same 6412 with a blunt trailing edge. Go ahead and create that. And you can see that the trailing edge is in fact a blunt trailing edge. And that's how this script works. If you liked this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. We'll talk to you later.